Hey, Mark here. I'm going to show you real quick how to do uh, an offset path on a shape like this. I know it's not exactly the same as the one you have, but it's going to work just fine. Let me tell you real quick what we're going to do, and then I'll show you how we'll do it. First thing we're going to do is select this item. And we're going to go over to Layers panel, and we're going to make a copy of it right where it is. And then we're going to turn off the, one of the copies on the Layers panel so we don't mess it up. Then the other one that's turned on, we're going to select that one, and then we're going to go to... Um, release compound path so that it's going to ungroup and release all of these shapes in here. And once we've done that, we're then going to simply select the outside uh, outline and we're going to lock that layer. We're going to select all the rest and delete it so that all we have left is this outside layer. After that, we're then almost done because now we're going to go create an offset path around that outside layer uh, to be our cut line. And then we're going to delete the inside one. So we're left with just the outside uh, larger one that we did. Then we're going to turn on the layer that we turned off at the beginning and we'll be done. So let's do it. So the first thing we're going to do is go over here and we're going to drag this layer down to copy right here. So we have two of them. And then we're going to turn one of them off. We're just going to turn that off so we don't mess it up, right? Then we're going to go out here and we're going to right click and release compound path. And so now you see all these shapes are in there. All we're going to do is click on this outside one right here so that we have it selected. And you'll see it's way down here, right there. And we're going to lock that guy so we don't mess it up. And we're going to select everything else and hit delete. So now we've got just this outline, okay? We're almost already almost done. So now uh, we're going to unlock it. We're going to click on this again so we have it selected. And then go to Object, Path, Offset Path. And you see... It already defaults for me to point, uh, point 0.1 inches. And that's the line that we want to cut. Now, you can change that to be whatever you want. You could make it zero, and then the offset path is going to be right on top of the other one. And you can do that, but I think it would look a lot better if you did like a point 0.1 or a point 0.2, something like that. And then that's going to be your cut line. All right, so you get the line that you want. Let's select the inside one because we're done with that now. Hit delete. And now there, there's one little thing that will throw you off. This shape that we made is actually filled with the color of white. And uh, when you turn on this bottom layer here, you're, you're going to wonder where in the world is it? Well, this is a solid shape right at the moment, so it's on top of it. So you could just drag this over here in the layers panel to go on top. And or you can also go up here and uh, turn off the fill. Okay, And you're done. Now you have a cut line. And all you want to do is change that stroke to a different color. Just pick green or whatever color you want. It doesn't matter. And now you save this as an SVG and you are good to go. Hope that helps.